Switzerland is one of the most beautiful countries in the world and over the years we've seen it through trains, trams, boats and this year is going to be even more special because we'll have the luxury of going through these breathtaking landscapes and stopping when we see a gorgeous view, starting when we feel like and going on the winding alpine roads. Welcome to the Grand Tour of Switzerland. So let's cut to the chase and get straight to the plan. We're going out tonight. We're going we start driving from the famous Lake Geneva and cutting across the heart of the country, crossing Interlaken and Zurich, we head up north, coming down along the east border to the sunny Ticino. I'm hoping to cover 1500 kilometers on the Grand Tour route. A beautifully scenic route, mainly avoiding motorways and taking me through countrysides and little villages. And I won't be alone on this journey. Six interesting storytellers from India will hop on this ride with me and get behind the steering wheel. Let's hit the road on Swiss made Grand Tour. And where do we begin? City of Geneva. This is where I kickstart my journey. The words cosmopolitan and vibrant are not just words in this city. You can really feel the vibe when you come here. Because this city is home to more than 85 nationalities. They actually live here. So they're people from all over the world. What it can boast of is being known as the capital of peace and one of the best quality of lives of any city in the world. So what better place than Geneva to meet my other three travel partners? They're travellers, bloggers, storytellers and I think with them, I'll get to know Switzerland a little bit more. And they should be here right about now. We landed in Geneva and my first impression was, wow, look at the airport. And I thought, this can't be happening. Everything felt like clockwork. Everything was very efficient. Stuff that I like. So I'm in Switzerland to do a road trip with, uh, with a bunch of other people. But I did not actually meet them in India. I knew there were two other people. I knew there was somebody, a host from NDTV as well. I somehow think that that's how a travel journey should be. Traveling with strangers, with people you do not know. Of course I was curious, but uh, I was alright because I know I can get along with people and I love travelling and I can talk to strangers, but there's always that thing, who else is with us? So I met my three other travel partners and they seemed really nice and enthusiastic and excited and uh, we were staying at the Mandarin Oriental, so a super comfortable start. So while they check into one of the best luxury hotels in Geneva, why don't you get introduced to the three travellers? My name is Deepa and I'm a blogger, a food blogger. I started blogging purely to record my own recipes. I discovered blogging by chance, I think in about 2006 or something, which had lovely pictures and really nice visual effects and totally blew me away. I didn't realise that people could do that stuff at home. From there on my interest even multiplied as far as photography went with baking. So nobody knew what a blog was back then. I mean, that was like dinosaurs years ago. Now if you look at it, everybody is blogging. But there's something special about her blog. We will let her images talk and you'll know why she was chosen to come to Switzerland. Time to meet the others. So we came to Geneva pretty much early in the morning and um, it was a time when everybody is really busy unpacking their bags, getting their rooms. But I was most curious about the city. I wanted to get the vibe of the city. And as, as I always do, I just headed out. This is the spirit that clearly got Siddharth on the Grand Tour. I'm just so happy it seems I must be living a Hi, I'm Siddharth. I'm an industrial designer, I'm a travel photographer, I'm a traveller, but I think most importantly, I'm a storyteller. I've become 
more and more inquisitive about places and people, culture and food. And I think that's what drives me to travel more and more. I don't belong to a city. I don't belong to a state. And that's who I am. Since it's a driving show, the third traveler will ensure all's well behind the wheel. Hi, I'm Roger Tirani and I am a motoring journalist writing for more than seven years already. I've headed editorial teams for two auto portals in the past and currently I'm heading the editorial for MotorOctane.com. My job has always been to get you the latest auto news and reviews as fast as we can. I'm here in Switzerland to evaluate how good is it to drive on the roads and how easy is it to rent a car and go to different places. With more than one-fourth of the city covered with greens, Geneva is often referred to as a city of parks. So I've invited them to one such pretty spot, Park de OV, a sloping hillside park topped by a historic mansion dating back to the 18th century can be the perfect place to spend our first afternoon. What was I thinking? When the sun's shining bright and it's such a gorgeous day in Geneva, Time for a picnic! Alright guys, the second basket is here. There were these beautiful wicker baskets. Opening it was... It was very quaint. It just reminded me of the very old days of school, college or whenever we used to head out with friends and family. Old-fashioned as it may be, one of the best ways to break ice is over a picnic. Cheers, guys! Welcome to Geneva! And sure enough, after the first cheers, all of us cracked up into laughter. We're trying to pass sandwiches to each other. I was trying to be a good host and, you know, cut the meats and cut the cheese and pass it around. <laughs> it was great fun. Neha wasn't what I thought Neha was. <laughs> she was giggly, she was fun, she was really chilled out. Food, wine, everything was there and we had a real good time. By the end of it, our baskets were empty, our stomachs were full and we were just rolling on that green grass with laughter. It's like a dream that I think we would all dream of. And a dream lunch can only get perfect followed by a dream evening. arrived in Switzerland earlier this morning, we decided to give driving a skip and waltz around the gorgeous city of Geneva. Among other things, it's home to the UN and Red Cross. And there's plenty to see and do in the city of peace, but we decided to laze around its most prominent landmark and a must visit, the Jeddo. Everybody else actually went back to the hotel to sleep. Deba and me decided to venture out and explore some nightlife. You always have this fear, you're going somewhere late at night and might be unsafe, this, that and the other. Siddharth being Siddharth said, no, 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 let's go, doesn't matter what it is. So in any case, we had heard that Switzerland is very safe. So uh, we headed off and uh, Half the town was there. One, two, three, four, are you gonna give me more? Five, six, seven, eight, are you gonna make me wait? The city is celebrating Fête de Geneva, or the Geneva Festival held every summer. And where would you expect foodies to head to? There were churros there, there were crepes, there was Nutella, there were sausages. The energy, the shrieks of people, the loud music, the lights, colourful. 
that's how our first night in Switzerland was. It was that kind of a morning. Childlike excitement in the air as we peer down on the Grand Tour map. Today we will hit the road, and everyone starts spelling out their wish list. You want to drive? Yes. Nothing else you care about. <laughs> Countryside buildings and vineyards. I would like to jump into Lake Geneva at some point. We need a car. Who's most excited to be yeah. behind the wheel? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh my God! Car rental place. Out with four passports, our Indian driving licenses, as simple as that, and we felt like kings. The boys wanted an SUV, and of course, a convertible for us. Switzerland, here we come. Fifty a limit, ha? Sahi hai, ha? Oh, am I? What is this? What does this mean? Exit will be there. And I was looking at her, thinking. But Neha, you knew everything. But here, no, Neha didn't know everything. Do you see our cars? I'm trying to. Look, I don't know where we are going. Really, I'm not kidding. आपको आज आज आप तो शूट कर रहे हो आपको तो कुछ नहीं आता. So then we can't go there. Yeah. Indicator देना पड़ेगा आपको. Mistake number one. We lost the boys in the SUV. That was the car we had to follow as a default. Mistake number two. We had not set anything on our GPS and left the airport with the car. And we had to come right back inside the airport parking. 